Hello, this is your man JC from Real and Simulated Wars. This video is a continuation of the previous one, the fight for Batumi. Again, the story goes like we are the Georgians, the Russians have uh, disembarked in the port of Batumi and they are pushing us to the south towards the uh, airport of Batumi and uh, our forces are fighting, are fighting hard to defend our sh ever shrinking hold on the city of Batumi we have been asked to uh, clear a street so our troops can advance I have created the series of target points 1, 2 and 3 which are linear and they do mark the layout of the street I have chosen number 3 right now target point number 3 so I can start over there I just slaved the Shkival to that waypoint and now I can see the street in the Shkival and uh, well there appears to be something over there so I am going to uh, zoom in there are they are one two three BTRs on these mounts so I'm gonna lock on the first one you will notice this is a voiceover after the mission you will notice that I have serious problems with my uh, thumb stick from the Warthog uh, Hodas the throttle thingy until I realized that I have actually mapped the cursor control to another set of keys which I will start using you will see it in the video wow look at that you cannot do anything with that thumb stick maybe time to change it after 15 years I think it is time so now I'm using the keys lock and I'm in a hover right now because I didn't want to put my nose forward and have any forward speed and uh, it's not out of hover and one of the beauties of the trim control of the K-50 is that you can trim the aircraft and you can push the cyclic for roll and pitch with no problem there goes the first target out uh, I was saying that you can pitch it forward or backwards the cyclic and uh, if you leave the control alone it will return to the previous position which was roughly a hover so right now the ranges are good for the Viker ATGMs so I'm launch launching a second one towards the target I just destroyed one VTR and there appears to be some uh, personnel not personnel but dismount casualties too there goes the second one yeah apparently another soldier Russian soldier went down lock with the next one I have set my weapons control to manual so the Viker firing parameters are way more lenient than usual that allows me to maneuver almost at pressure so this is an attack from the hover and you will notice the high altitude that I am at right now it's almost insane for a helicopter we are lucky that there is no there are air defenses but there is nothing that can touch us at this point they also may be precluded from uh, you know ground clutter and whatnot so I switch it to rockets right now let the trim go out and uh, I'm going to go for the general area in a new pass just pulling a bit back and again I'm going to engage with rockets what some people call sanitized the target area rockets are an area web weapon so I'm not gonna be I'm not even going to try to acquire the the troops that may be there I know they are hiding nearby 
they have moved just spooked out by the missile fire and what I'm going to do I'm gonna try to use a long range for the rockets I don't recall exactly what is the limit but you will see me here launching them from anywhere from four to three kilometers which is kind of very very so uh, speed is increasing this is what is called the diving attack you have a speed forward and of course since you are sinking you may risk some over speed I just caused two casualties so I'm not too way off so after breaking the helicopter a little bit to ease the air speed I'm going to do not another pass it's roughly the same pass but another set of rockets I'm over speeding again over speeding again and I'm launching rockets just in the general area I just heard the Russian soldier and then I'm gonna pull out of the target area I don't have any more rockets I believe oh and there we go some anti-air system I don't know what it is it could be an igla which we know the inf infantry that is all over the place in Batumi some of the squads do have uh, man pads or could be uh, the anti-air systems that are around the port so so far so good I'm just returning to the airport Batumi International Airport because I consider that you know enemy presence in the target area has been significantly reduced and uh, well I'm just coming over there for a landing right now I don't know what happened here I was trying to decrease my air speed and I got distracted by something and uh, started singing I didn't see this one happening you have to be very aware of your surroundings when you are flying this helicopter it's very easy to fly but it's also very easy to mess up and last but not least I wanted to bring up this issue the reason I created this mission and the reason I'm sharing this video with you it is because military operations in urban terrain are always tricky for the land forces and in this case for army aviation or whatever you want to call it I, I don't know in this case what applies but helicopters are tricky to use in, in, in the urban environment so those difficulties are actually kind of summarized in a monograph for which I'm putting a link in the description of the video I hope you can retrieve it and give it a read basically speaks about the low practicality that you will use a low altitude hover trying to seek cover behind buildings because you know the enemy is continuously maneuvering and they may catch you with your pants down hovering in a very tight space with no room to maneuver out it's good to have options so what I use it for this mission it is an attack from a very high altitude altitude hover and second from a very long distance just not to get caught and then I use it what is called the diving attack with rockets that was not very effective at least the second firing the second set of rounds was not very effective and uh, that is regrettable but I'm out of rockets right now and I am going to land so again 
take a look at that monograph I hope you enjoy it if you are inclined to do so I have some bonus fo footage of the land troops of Georgia moving along this street that we just kind of cleared there was you will see that it was not a complete cleanup very difficult to achieve but at least the vehicles are gone and apparently their kind of heavy support weapons are gone too but by, by the volume of fire so I really appreciate your kind attention I hope to see you again and after I land there's gonna be some couple of scenes of that advance of the land troops thank you very much and till the next time